Empty set for Ramsey. And he completes it to Filliard. Filliard, though, won't get there. He's going to be about a yard short. We start the second quarter with third down and eight for Indiana near midfield. And Michael Penix is complete to Wap Fillier. Right near the line to gain, which is the 39. Saw number 33 back for Illinois defensively today. Trey Watson back at linebacker after missing the last three with injury. Wide open and a catch. First down, Fillier across the 30-yard line. Don't tell the high team won by something like 65 to 6 last night. That throw is caught out to the 40-yard line for a nice gain for the Hoosiers. That's Waddle Fillier who has started to play more and more. Indiana's got a lot of injuries at the receiver spot, and this true freshman has stepped up. Side defensive tackle of Hunt, they didn't do that. Ellison's still in the backfield. Ramsey this time to throw. Short pass. Dumps it in for a first down game. Lot failure in motion. And they give it to Fillier. A little shake and bake, and then he's hammered down at the 40 by Kenny Willikas. Now what do you have dialed up here on third and 16? Well, not a whole lot of plays in the playbook for this, other than not making a mistake. Pass midfield near the first down marker, but clearly shy. It's again a 13. Tuttle with the handoff. This is Watt Fillier at the running back position now, and he's able to pick up eight. And keep drives extending. Yeah, third and long has been an issue for the Hoosiers this year as Ramsey drops back under pressure. Pass is complete, and it's Watt Fillier. Fillier has the catch and a first down. Past the third level, he's looked better than previous games. He's had more of an opportunity as well. The end of the to Fillier. To the 50. They're faced with a third down and long here, and Penix going to throw from his end zone, and a long pass that's caught by Fillier and across the 25-yard line for a first down. Everybody knows where they're supposed to go, and they can get there quickly. Yeah, you don't. Well, here's a reverse here from Indiana trying to trick him again. Watt Hillier, Hillier, and they'll get the first down. Nice play there. That shows off the speed from Watt Hillier. But they try to force the ball, something that Lego has done in his career, making mistakes. And it is a short throw. Look at a tackle, though, is Watt Hillier, one of the great names in the country. And he fights for extra yardage. Indiana coming into this game, plus today they're hanging tough. Handoff, and it's going to be across the 35 to the 38. And a quick throw out to Ty Fry for or Wap Fillier, rather. For Wap Fillier, that is his 100th career reception. Hoosiers have put on a couple of impressive drives here to start this third quarter. Penix again to throw to Fillier. Fillier with his career day, just adding to his career day. They love the drag route, just right across the middle. Right on the money. Good ball right there by Fillier. Excuse me, by Penix to Fillier. And Fillier able to get some yards after the catch. Here comes a blitz. Penix in trouble. Sidesteps. Delivers. Caught. Outside. About two minutes to play. Penix can count to about ten with the time he has. Had to come back to get it. It's Fillier for this ball forever. Wops wide open right now. And then he just waits and waits and finally throws it to him. He hit the ground first. Let's take a look right here. Oh, I don't well, did know it. if it I did. Think that's I think catch. he snatched it. Yeah. The first replay, it looked like it hit the ground first. And it's going to be under further review. That's a good catch. Tremendous effort there by Wop. By the way, the sun just came out for the first time today. The first time in about 48 hours. Fillier again, this time a little further downfield, and he gets the edge. And is all the way down near the 23-yard line. Play for Fillier. Yeah, and Xavier Henderson's about 10 yards away when Fillier catches the ball. That's not an easy task for even a guy like Xavier Henderson, who's had a really good start to this season for Michigan State. Replacing Kari Willis, and he's the top producing. Longest play of the game. There's Penix looking for more. He's got a man. 
And it's WAP again. This time they're going to bring him all the way across the formation, sneaking across that zone coverage, finding that opening on the backside. Alarm that can make throws all over the field. They've got weapons at the receiving position. Yeah, they certainly do, and there is one of them, Fillier. Catches the pass. He's got a first down for Indiana. Looked like it might only be a gain of one or two, and he got himself a first down. Catch by making people miss. It's Watt Fillier. Here looks dead to rights, makes a move on the defender. And I think you go to Fillier here on third and medium. Ramsey looking that way as Fillier makes the catch. Now he's in space. He's legal in space. And brought down by Thieneman inside the 20-yard line. It's today after missing last week's game with a concussion. Terrific poise in the pocket. You know you're going to take a shot, but you got to get it close to your... Penix has some time. Deep down field failure. Perfect pass. Perfect catch. With the cushion, cushion they got him, and he takes off on the defensive back. And this is a great throw. Throws it high and outside. And even there was some pass interference that looked like there. A little bit of holding on him. Jarrett Paul, who was getting the start this week for the first time. Andy Boos said he had played better. Holds a little bit on failure. They're still able to make the catch. Tremendous effort there with Paul draped all over him get some yards, got to make first down work for us, and be able to stay in front of the chains if at all possible. It didn't happen in the first two quarters. We'll see if it does in the final two. Off the quick reception. There's a grab for Watt Billiard. Yeah, and he's got a guy in the slot. Number one, he ought to be looking for. Then it's Billiard down the seam. Watt Billiard, you are right on into the 20-yard line. There is a flag down. We'll see if it sticks. To Fillier, and there's no way in a slot situation you match him one-on-one -on -one with that safety weight. You have to recognize you've got to give help. There's no help. He ran right by him. Anytime Ramsey sees that. 14 points off of the two turnovers. Ronnie Walker's checked in the backfield. Penix throws. He's got a man. Fillier, look out. If he would have kept his balance. Well, we can see him lined up here in the slot. And you can see Newsom there reacted a little bit late. Not able to get over in time. Throw was a little bit short right there. On third and five, Lego in the pocket, throwing it. That's caught first down and more. Near sideline, it's Fillier shoved out across the 50. It's going to be a huge one. Wisconsin yet to give up a point this season. They've outscored their opponents 110 to nothing. First down to 10 to the 19-yard line underneath, and it's caught. Nicely done. Walk failure, and he'll get out of bounds close to midfield. Penix. This one caught. And a first down. Walk failure. Fillier, he's just been on, and he's been getting protection. Here's a shot right Shoots here. the deep ball. Oh, oh, on the throw. money, and a sliding grab. Perfectly timed for Watt Fillier. Pressure. You can see this. Fillier's on the top. Up to double move. First gets to the top. Eight, on Izian. Yeah, Tom Allen's had him in back-to-back -back bowls for the first time. Here's Fillier trying to cut it back. And he takes it to the 45 yard line. Empty set, first and 10 from the 44 of Indiana. Ramsey has Fillier. He's got all sorts of space. Fillier accelerating inside the 20 in Indiana in the red zone. In a wet field, I know where I'm going. You don't know as a defender where I'm going. And a lot of traffic. That's just a crosser where you get linebackers running into your own player. Experience and a lot of trust in those guys. A little inside handoff and a pitch. To Whoop Fillier. Fillier able to turn the corner. Whoop Fillier down the sideline to the five. What a score if not for Nick Scott. 26 yards on the play. We were talking with Mike DeBoer, the offensive coordinator, last night. He said, we get in that red zone fringe area. We're going to have a little bit of something to bring Watt Fillier back. It's time to snap. 
happened on the first clap. Penix steps up into a tight window for Fillier. Somehow knifes it through there for a first down completion of 22 yards. His own defense, well, this is zone. This is too deep zone, and you can't throw it any better. Look at the window between the three Michigan defenders in front of the safety. Ronnie Walker, better at pass protection, in running back. Ramsey moving the pocket, looking, and so wide open. Touchdown, Indiana, Watt Fillier. And nine times in 12 games this season. And it's man coverage, and I think the time bought by quarter. Now, Penix and the Hoosiers in business with just over two minutes to go in the quarter. It's Fillier. Another dash off of tacklers inside the 15. Still with the feet working. An amazing run from Watt Fillier after the catch. There has been a driving force so far. This is the wide screen play. Kept his pad level down. Kept his feet moving on contact. Look at the feet moving. They're trying to get the ball out. And that loss against Chattanooga. Third and seven for Penix. Launching this one downfield. A stretching, diving grab by Watt Fillier. Nice job in the pocket by Penix. Launches that ball. Just a seam route down the field to Fillier. Perfectly thrown. Nice diving catch. A BTN standout. Your junior defensive end that walked off the field for Ball State. He was the injured player. And here's the jet sweep for the Hoosiers. And they've got a first down and running room. And a penalty flag. That's Watt Fillier. And we talked to offensive quarter coordinator Mike DeBoard yesterday. And he said, hey, we want to get Watt more involved in the game plan. We saw them doing that. Unfortunately, there's a penalty here, usually in the area of offensive holding. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number six, 15-yard penalty, first down. And you can see Wap turning it up right here using that speed and the face mask. Oh, pretty egregious right there. Wap able to keep his feet. And some missed opportunities a couple weeks ago against Michigan State. Here's Michael Penix. Swings it out to Wap Fillier, and isn't that fitting down the sideline? You bet! Penix to Fillier. A golden connection this week. To release in under two seconds, and you can't give Wap Fillier that much space. If you give a guy like Fillier with his athleticism and that kind of space, he will make you pay for a big game for the Hoosiers. Fillier again, no one on top of Fillier, the most dangerous player on the field right now. Ramsey looking his way, Fillier has a step. Makes the catch! Touchdown! There's no one on top of Fillier. He has nothing but green grass in front of him. And quarterback Peyton Ramsey couldn't wait until he... Penix. Sidearm. Caught. Touchdown, Indiana. Wop. Fillier. What do you do? You create a pick for the inside player. And Wap Fillier goes up. Now you've got the pick on the outside, and he goes to the outside. The beautiful job of those outside receivers. Penix going for the end zone, and he's got his man, Wap Fillier. And the Hoosiers are on the board. Your drop eight, you have everybody in coverage, and on third and 12. Ramsey steps up, flips it left, it's caught, diving for the pylon, Watt Fillier, he's in for the Indiana touchdown. A redshirt freshman finds a true freshman, and it's not over yet, 3.27 to go. As Fillier dove for the goal line, Low go underneath. Diving for the end zone. Touchdown. How about this? That was an awesome throw and catch to the outside. Oh, and great extension right here. All you have to do is get the ball to the pylon. He knows it. Hit the pylon. It's a touchdown. Tuttle. Corner of the end zone. Fillier. Touchdown pass of the afternoon. Capping a seven play drive and putting Indiana up 14 to three. Again to throw for Indiana. Ramsey steps up. Fillier.
Custown, Indiana. And we got the jet sweep to Wap Fillier, who reaches for the end zone. Indiana has a touchdown. Absolutely love the call with Richard Lego in at quarterback. Get it to one of your playmakers. Watch Wap Fillier able to finish this run. Does he get in is the question. And I think he does. Bunch up top. Same thing. Third goal. Better shot on the delay. The pop. The strike. The look at it. It's a back shoulder. Wap Fillier couldn't finish the game last year. He's trying to finish it this time. Two hands, one foot. Let's see if the ball moves or comes out at all. That looks clean, clean, clean. Critical downs here. Yeah, you're right, James. Three defensive penalties on this drive alone. Penix going for the end zone again for Fillier. And Wap Fillier hauls it in. That's his 17th target of the game. They have gone after him time and again. Michael Penix again with a perfect placement of the football. How impressed are you with Peyton Ramsey? Well, they know their game. It's short throws underneath, and he is really efficient at running the offense. And here, a big play. Inside the 20, inside the 10, touchdown, Rock Fillier. 65 yards. Here you go, right here. You see, they're just running right in a little curl route over the middle, and the linebacker let him get back. Didn't get any depth. He caught it over the middle and off to the races.